What's going on YouTube? Today I want to show you five ways you can improve the sound of your Blue Snowball microphone. If you guys like content like this, make sure you like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos about audio, video, streaming, and that sort of thing. Speaking of audio and video and video creation, if you're a YouTuber or you are a creator that uses music in their videos, there is an amazing solution for royalty-free music and that is called Hook Sounds. Hooksounds.com is original royalty-free music for YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, podcasts, radio, TV, and other multimedia content. They're partnered with big names like Disney and Amazon. They use original music from local musicians around the world, making it so artists like yourself and I can have a source of income doing what they love, creating music. Whether or not you're going to use this tool, make sure you check out Hooksounds.com by using the link in the description below and see what they have to offer the first tip i can give you when setting up your blue snowball microphone well in general with any microphone that you use you want to make sure you're within three to five inches of your mouth and that you're speaking directly into the microphone it's important for the microphone to be picking up all of the sound coming out of your mouth and that's why it's so important that you're at least within three to five inches of your chin or mouth the second bit of advice i can give you when setting up the blue snowball microphone is to actually point the microphone upwards which you see here in front of me now the blue snowball microphone is a condenser microphone and the way it is built is it, it picks up a lot of plosive noises uh, when you're speaking we've found that when you point the microphone upwards and keep it about three to five inches from your chin that it sounds a whole lot more full and better when setting up the microphone i do suggest pointing the microphone upwards this would require you to have a boom stand like i have here that you see on the screen there's a very specific boom stand that i have purchased it cost me ten dollars at the time of buying it i will link it in the description below along with a video on how to install it with the blue snowball because it will require you to unscrew the tip of the boom stand flip it upside down screw that into the snowball mic and then screw it onto the stand because it's not really made for the blue snowball uh, it just happens to work with it when you do that a uh, little bit of adjusting the next bit of advice i can give you is applying a pop filter to the microphone it's nice if you can find a boom stand and pop filter combination uh, that way you can get the microphone close to your mouth while also having a pop filter to reduce those plosive sounds now i do like i said suggest pointing the microphone upward but most people point it directly at their mouth just like any other microphone that they would use winning when setting up your uh, pop filter keep in mind you want to make sure the screw on that pop filter is actually pointing down right so then the 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 filter itself is wrapping upwards to cover the microphone that's just a, a bit of advice i can give you for setting up your pop filter to make things a little bit easier um, that's how they're made to actually function tip number four the blue snowball is a condenser microphone meaning it will pick up a lot of sounds um, in the vicinity or the area that you're in a big one being air noises fan noises from computers or ac units that sort of thing and the way you can combat those noises is by applying a proper noise gate filter a noise gate filter will cut out certain volume at a floor level that way you can set the level in which the audio will start to be heard on the other end of the microphone or the output of the microphone and that's how a noise gate filter works you can set up a noise gate filter within voice meter or a vst hosting application or a application that accepts vst plugins and having a vst plugin that is a noise gate filter the vst VST plugins that I suggest are the Reaper plugins. I will link those in the description below as well. If you need any information regarding the setup of those applications, I have done a video on Equalizer APO. Uh, I have done videos on voice meter setup as well. But what I suggest doing is picking an application that you want to use and sticking with it. Whatever's easiest 
for you. I do suggest using Equalizer APO or a VST host like Pedalboard. I don't have any information on my channel regarding Pedalboard, but that is what I would suggest if you want to go the VST hosting route. Tip number five and the final tip I can give you for adjusting your v uh, Blue Snowball microphone and to get it to sound crisp and beautiful like I have here is doing some proper EQ. Doing equalization is a bit challenging and this tip is the biggest tip I can give you for making your microphone sound better. I suggest doing some research on EQ. I have done a video and a breakdown on EQ, but I've most importantly done a video on the setup process of Equalizer APO, and I've created a preset file that you can quickly download into that application to set up with your Blue Snowball to sound exactly how I sound here. Keep in mind, the EQ is made for my vocals, so if you have a different vocal range, or for instance, if you're a female, it might sound a little bit weird or a little bit different and you might have to adjust it all you will need to do is do some research on eq and how it works and, and make those adjustments for yourself that's going to be my five tips for improving the audio on your blue snowball microphone what i suggest doing after watching this video is heading over to that equalizer apo video and setting up equalizer apo for your mic do make sure you get yourself a boom stand and a pop filter for your microphone it's going to clear up a lot of things the pop filter is now necessary for reducing plosive sounds, things like P's, B's, T's, and things like that so you don't destroy your viewers' ears uh, with, with plosives. So thank you so much for watching. If you guys like content like this, make sure you like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you're interested in Twitch streaming and video gaming, check out my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash thefrancois, and I will catch you in a future video. Peace.